Book 14 Dido's Curse Around his neck the stone of red returned to black. For the moment it seemed that danger had been put in check. Quickly the brothers retracing their path to the harbor made their way back to their ship, the Crescent Moon, where the crew was busily making repairs. Captain, Issa spoke for the pair, we must sail with all haste. Fearing attack, they pulled Horatio aside, relaying the encounter that caused them such cares. Telling the story about the gypsy girl and her gifts, they then recounted the following of Jamel, and what then befell tracing him to secret lairs. Entering from the rear of the building, I observed them undetected, Issa began his report. I saw that traitor talking low with three Spaniards, one a ranking officer, the other two his adjutants, from what he counted. And so the Spanish know we're here, Horatio considered those cards. That's unfortunate for sure, though I doubt they dare to make a strike in such a fortified harbor. Nay, sir, there's more. Isio's voice broke to shards. They seemed little interested until he mentioned your heritage. Then, like a pike, they became rigid with attention, taking a stance serious and businesslike. A Trojan? asked their leader. A great significance he placed on those words. We must deal with this at once, he told the others, and that's when it began.